Hey girls, it's Jenny with Planner Perfect, and in today's video, another plan with me. Stay tuned. Okay, this week is going to be a lot of fun, super busy. Um, really um, showcasing how I am planning my whole week and how I do that for you is that I actually, if I'm going to be doing it live time and planning, it takes so much thought. I did all of my, my thought processes ahead of time in a spiral notebook, jotted all my brain dumping down of how I kind of foresaw everything that I really wanted to do and achieve this week. And then all I do then is I'm able to kind of do it here in this video um, because it, this kind of method, and if you're new to me, welcome. This kind of planning is really for the visionary and for a woman, a woman who wants to dream big and do big things with her life. You know, God really wants to use you. He wants you to be a vessel for him to use. He's got big plans for you. So he really wants you to be usable. He really wants to be able to he has a purpose and a calling for your life. He's equipped you with talents and he wants you to multiply. He does not want you to um, stay stagnant in one place with what's comfortable. He wants you to be moving from faith to faith to faith. It is impossible to please God without faith. And if you just even take that scripture and apply it, you'd see just how serious that really is because um, a lot of times we'd always do things in the realm of comfortable and what we know and the things that we can see and things that we're feeling, you know, nothing's going to make us get all riled up and jazz. It's time to really um, get out of mediocrity, ask the Holy Spirit what he wants to use you for, find out all of these um, ways that you can um, be of purpose and to serve God and he's going to surprise and delight you all the way through. So let's go ahead and get started with my plan with me. I can't wait to plan with you my week and let's get started. You guys, we are back. We are going to go ahead and a plan with me today. I've got some of my notes with me that I'll be using. I'm in Zsa, Zsa wide. Absolutely in love with it. Um, my journal is actually drying because I'm distressing its pages. So it is not in here right now. But I'm going to get in here and let's get some plan with me is going in here today. So I've already kind of got my week at a glance going. Let's go ahead and write down some of the things that I know I'm going to do. So it's kind of like my, um, I call them my absolutes. They're the things I know that I'm doing. And I love to also put the, the um, temperature the weather. So I know it's going to be 75 and this is when I am, this is a big business day for me, but just part of the day I'm going to be gone. Um, but I do have a zoom meeting and I need to reschedule actually. So I'm writing that down. Um, and then I'm meeting Marilyn. She's my designer for my basement, so I have to meet her at one studio. I'm really tempted on this day to go to Whole Foods as well because it's right by Whole Foods and um, I'm gonna write that down as an option. Whole Foods run. Um, Tuesday, I get the babies, which I get the boys, my grandbabies. And I'm going to be getting them from 10 to 7, and I'm going to do an apple orchard day this day. Um, it's also going to be about 73 degrees. So I'm excited for that. I think it'll be the perfect weather. 
Um, this is when I also bring home a lot of apples for my apple jelly. And for baking and all of that. So I get about, I don't know, I might even get up to like 20, 30 pounds um, for all that I use for it. Um, and then Wednesday I do get the boys again. And that's a 10 to 7 day. And I feel like, and I had written this down, that um, I also have, and I'm writing this down as well. This is a new um, YouTube And I'm having my kids as part of their homeschool to watch it. And it is like five to 10 minutes long. And it's really great. It illustrates and talks about the Bible and breaks it down from character to promise to all of the questions that, I mean, kids and adults have. And so I'm really in love with it and my kids like it too. So I'm having it be somewhat of a requirement. Uh, Wayland too, my grandkids. They have to sit and watch it too. It's very short and easy watch. This day, I'm going to do more of a play outside. And um, and we can do some of our, sometimes we'll take some of our stuff that I wanna do, such as reading and some of their, we're working on some spelling right now. So I could take this outside. So I like to think of different fun ways we can kind of be out of the norm of what we do and to sit outside and have a picnic lunch outside. And do some lessons outside. And Waylon will have, Wesley will have fun, just and Waylon just kind of also having fun riding their bikes and stuff like that. Thursday, I do have the boys, again, 7 to 4. It's an early day. Also, Thursday is another 75 weather day on Wednesday here. It's kind of the 70s all week. Until the weekend, then it kind of gets hot. So then I've got Thursday, I've got 75 again. And on this day, it was going to be that I am baking pumpkin cinnamon rolls two times over, so doubling the batch. Uh, this is for our, I have an entrepreneurial meeting on Fridays once a month, so I'll bring it. So I will bake it and have that ready. And I'm gonna leave this open, but that's for absolutes of what I know now. And these sub things can be added to. This is a day I do not have babies, but I do have um, that meeting um, and it's over my sister's house this time. Um, bring the rolls, make the frittata over there, and we actually are going to do either a live or stories over on Jenny and a Bake as we make it. So make sure you stay tuned for that, okay? Um, home around noon. Saturday is a Jenny Nana bake day. Here, mind you, I don't, I'm also going to add, I think I'm going to take my bait, my boys bowling. Bowling day, and we wanted to kind of get to the might even do another movie. If we don't do it this weekend, there's this 
this movie called Free Guy, there's a little bit of something in there that I, there's some things in there that I don't know if it's good for my kids to watch. So I have a little bit more investigating to do on that. My older son, one of my older sons said that it was good, but I don't know if I totally trust him. So I got to look into it. We might do it on this date. We might be doing it even as soon as tomorrow. So I'm just going to kind of leave this open, but I do know I want to do something fun with my boys. We used to always bowl all the time as homeschoolers. And I think I'm going to bring that back and take these babies uh, bowling. Um, and then what happens is Anna and I will bake and then Rob, her husband, comes over with the girls and we just do a big dinner at my house. And then this is our big Italian lunches. Uh, I call them just because on my mom's side, we do these big Italian lunches and um, now every Sunday after church and um, it lasts from like 12 to two. So, and I'm also gonna do my apple jelly this day. Apple jelly day and I'm gonna make an apple pie. And this is also will be Hmm. I'm gonna make sure I'm meal planned, that's for sure. I need to get groceries around here. Since I'm doing it on this day, I think I'm just gonna make sure I get absolutely everything I need to make sure I'm set for the weekend. So I think that's how that's gonna be. So perfect. I'm glad I mapped that out. So here I've already kind of laid out and drew out and put my stickers on. I love, again, I love putting some stuff in the center now. It's kind of fun. Breaks up the look. So now I'm just going to kind of mark down in detail. And this I don't do anything so I can save room for my weekend. So here is where I can get detailed about these all of these kind of different things that I'm looking at. If I never went into full detail on this, I would, it would, none of it would ever work and I probably would not even do it. But when you break it down, it, you definitely, um, you get it done. It's like, it is sealed in the mind. You know what you're doing. You're living on intention and you can just, your mind takes hold and it is just one of the, one of the beauties of the method. So um, this is, these are just a week at a glance. Okay, yeah, I'm doing this. And then I get real detailed on how I'm actually gonna accomplish this. So even for like the reading and spelling, I'm gonna make sure I know exactly what book, exactly what spellings, obviously, exactly the lunch I'm gonna be doing outside. Um, all of these different, uh, you know, ideas uh, that I wanna bring to life they need detail, so you need to breathe in life into them. So you can't just kind of leave it there hanging. So Monday here, we've got, um, yes. So Monday I am up early and I do 6 a.m. And this is my Jesus and coffee and I then what I do is um I paint so after this then I will paint for one hour and then um do the my main early chores dishes and laundry started and then I will shower I'm going to email um, to change my Zoom call. Um, breakfast. Um, 10 a.m. is usually when they will eat and I want my boys and I want to do it all at one time. And I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be yet. I've got to get out my menu planner and I'm doing that. So this is at least ready for me to be mapped out for them and know exactly what I'm feeding them and have it all ready for them on the island and all of that. 
So then I have that it's 1 p.m. meeting Marilyn. Now what I could do is leave earlier, but I don't want to do that. It's going to be 75 degrees. It's still just too much if I were to get meat. I'm not going to do it but I could put a cooler in my car, girls. This is what I'm thinking. I just don't wanna to be too late because I wanna also spend time with my sons in the afternoon. I just don't wanna drag this meeting out till I'm home late with this whole foods run. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna feed them, clean up, and I'm gonna make my bed. I'm gonna clean up, leave here by 10.30. Bring all my samples for that designer. And planner. Whole Foods. And then B, because I'd probably be at Whole Foods by 11. I would be there by 11. I would have a good hour and a half to shop. And so then B at Maryland's studio by one. Girls, I'm so glad we had this chat. Okay, so then hopefully I can be home by 2.30, much better. Um, I also need to know if they eat at 10, they probably can make it even for like a later type of a, of a lunch. My husband's also home. So then I'll feed them when I get home and I need to know what that's going to be. Guaranteed I'm going to be starving too. So that means kind of a little bit of a lighter type of a lunch. And then we'll do dinner around six. Even seven if we need to. It's going to be really beautiful out. Maybe we can sit outside. So I'll be thinking about that. And I don't know what these are. So I've got to come back to fill in that for lunch. Um, also then, um, usually what I'll have to do is clean up, um, have dinner started, boys help set table, Girl, sorry. <laughs> I got to clean out that that bearded dragon cage. This is something that's got to happen today. Bam. Okay, I got it down. <laughs> okay, back to it. Clean up house real quick. The kids usually, the boys will kind of make it a mess. So I'm going to pick it up and all that. And then this is going to be open because I really want to maybe do something with these babies in the afternoon. Something kind of fun. And you know, now that I'm thinking about it and I'm really, I'm just going to have to. What's great about really looking through this and laying things out is that if I've got when I want to be home, then that really works for me because then... I can plan something really kind of fun for me and the boys here. And I'm going to have to take a little bit more time to think about that, but that pocket's there. And then it's clean up. Boys help. And then I do more of a Bible study at night in the evening. Make sure all my, all my clothes are folded. And I kind of um, listen to different things or even the Bible have it read to me while I fold clothes.
so I need everything ready by tomorrow. Which is when I get the boys. And to bed by 10 p.m. So. Got that absolute done Tuesday. Up early at 6 a.m. Coffee and Jesus. Paint for one hour. Boys, 10 to 7. And then I will... Dishes and laundry started for the day. Shower. Um... Shower, dressed, and then I will grab the boys. Leave here at 9.30. Um, pick up a coffee on the way home. And today I wanted to do the um, apple orchard, so... Put that up there. So, but when I get home, I do want to feed them breakfast. And then we do a cleanup. Um, and then I'm going to have my boys watch the Bible Project on YouTube. And then I'll be upstairs and make my bed and switch out laundry. Okay, so they can do their, their part of, this is part of their school, which is Jesus first, and we do um, this uh, Bible project here. Here we can do some lessons and I'm going to write, fill this in later. Then we will eat light lunch. Before we go to the apple orchard and we will get then apple donuts. And play on their playground in the back that they have there, which will be super fun for the kids. Um, my plan would be to home around three. And then dinner. So now this has got to be something that is, I got to know exactly what that is. Clean up, all the boys help, all of them. Family room, all the toys, all the dinner, take boys home. Okay, so then I have my evening routine, which is always to home around eight, finish laundry up, listen to favorite pastors, um, and then down with the boys to watch a show together before bed. And sometimes we've been doing the Bible project again at night because they're just fun little short clips, a lot of fun. Okay, so then we have a Wednesday. Um, 6 a.m. And I love writing every second of this out. It shows my life is full and full of intention. 
by doing this, it shows me pockets of where I need to improve, what I need to pray over, where if I need to see that I am going in the direction of, of my goals, um, if this just really lays it out in front of my face so I know how to improve. Um, and what's working and what's not working. Like if I keep writing something down that's clearly not working, then I change it. So it's good to write it out because then I can say, you know what, I'm not even getting up. I mean, why, why do I, how do I change it? Am I not getting to bed early enough? How can I um, set myself up for success? And then I paint for an hour. And then I do my chores, which dishes out and then the laundry started. And then I shower, dressed, leave here at 9.30, grab boys, home by eight, oops, 10. And then it's breakfast. So this was the day that I was thinking that we would be playing outside. We would do lunch outside. We'd do a picnic. Um, and lessons. Some fun ones. So lunch, it would be like what to make and bring outside. So I would once I get up my meal planning book and get that mapped and done, which is over here. This is where I'll be doing all my monthly. I'm starting a new whole week month. This was last month. So here in this month, I'm planning out my months of meals, my baking days each week, and um, what I'm gonna be preparing. So I'm gonna be doing that this weekend. Then I can transfer over all that good stuff. So this is good enough for now until I come back. And then of course I have 7 p.m. Um, boys all help clean up. And then I have my routine of, if it's not done, and there is that for right now. Wednesday, Thursday, these is up real early, up at 5 a.m., and it's Coffee and Jesus. I have the babies, 7 to 4. Paint. Paint for an hour. And then I'm going to do my chores And then I'm showering, go at 7.15, home by 8. And Thursday, I kind of, but this is the day I needed to bake. Bakes and pumpkin rolls. Here is also when I feed them and then boys watch. To fold and switch. This is what keeps me organized in the home. So I always have to make sure that I've, I'm just setting that intention 
making sure I know what I'm doing there. Um, here, this is an early time, so I just kind of sit and read and play with the babies. And then when my older boys wake up, we do... Um, breakfast and then it's Bible project it's clean up Bible project and then I go upstairs laundry and make my bed and I usually do that later because kids get in it and blah 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 so I come up later in that afternoon and do that. The boys go home at 4 p.m. on this day. Um, Clean up dinner and then um, laundry done and um, those pumpkin cinnamon rolls are ready for tomorrow. And for my boys. So um, by making the cinnamon rolls for the meeting also enables my boys to have that while I'm gone. John, my husband's home. Um, I'm not going to paint on this day. I'm going to shower, dress cute, of course, bring rolls, um, Cinnamon rolls ready for the boys while I'm going. And then I really want to be home at eleven thirty. No later. I, I'm not even gonna. Yeah. And I'm gonna clean up. Feed boys lunch. So I have to know what I'm going to feed them. I want to do something fun with them here. This is Jenny Nana Bake. On a Saturday, um, coffee and Jesus. I need to know what my boys are eating. Maybe we'll do donuts. Because actually on this day, leave to grab Anna. Grab donuts and coffees.
get ready to start all our videos. Um, and then for dinner, Rob, her husband, and her girls coming here to eat dinner. Okay, and Sunday. Lunch, Italian style, and I don't know the details. So, that is my week, you guys. I mean, that is my week. I'm actually going to write. Because what we make for the dinner is what me and Anna have prepared. So, it's kind of perfect. And dinner... light dinner like a charcuterie Whew. boy I do know this is that I'm up at 6 a.m. coffee and Jesus it's never missed girls there you have it my week planned I've got some absolutes. I've got to come in and fill up these pockets, but I have a really good grip on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, you guys, bye-bye.